Hi guys, I'm Sound Night 4 again. In this video I'll be talking about vlogging on YouTube. Now, vlogging is basically like video logging. It's like blogging, but with videos. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my page, I do certain bits of vlogging. Now, I'm not a huge vlogger. Like, some people make vlogs every day. Well, I don't. I don't make vlogs every day. I don't make videos every day. I may make a video whenever I feel like it, whenever I can get the time. And, um, yeah, I do watch a bit of vlogging on YouTube. I do watch a few vloggers. They don't make one every day, like Copy and a Slice of Life, so it's really good if you want vlogging and stuff. I like people that comment on, I think what makes a good vlogging, good vlog, or a good vlogger, is somebody who just says it, just says things as they are talks about their life, their experiences, interesting things that go on in their life. Uh, give their opinions on things, what they think about current affairs or particular subjects. And um, Bad vloggers, I don't know, you know what makes a bad vlogger? A bad vlogger, I would say, is probably somebody who doesn't say things as they are, who perhaps doesn't say too much about themselves, perhaps talks about stuff that is, um, is not really extremely interesting. Um, but I do watch a few vloggers on YouTube, even though he is not a huge vlogger, he does talk about a lot about his real life, but VidKid67 does talk about a bit about his real life, about real things that happen, he gives his opinions on things, like I said, coffee and a slice of life, he does quite a few vlogging things. Um, some great people on YouTube do do very good vlogs, and I think vlogging is very good, and I'm a bit of a vlogger myself, so, you know, I fully support vlogging. But, you know, I'm not as big a vlogger as some other people out there. 